Hi everyone, John here. Hopefully you've had a chance to do the dragon egg. I just wanted to record this little extra section just to talk to you about how you might be able to more easily prepare this for UV unwrapping because I want to take this into Substance Painter. And I mentioned in the tutorial that I want to make these sections here gold. And you can imagine going in and manually unwrapping all of this would be really, really time consuming. So definitely not going to do that. But before I prepare this for unwrapping, I just want to make a couple of slight changes to this. In the tutorial, we did this uh, pointed scale. And while that's fine, I think I'm going to go for a, a less pointed scale. So what I want to do, because this is still uh, live, this tissue, I'm actually going to just dissolve these. And I'm going to grab this one and this one and dissolve those two. So now, of course, I can go in and select that and refresh. And that will get rid of that. And I don't know, it just it looks a little more organic. I like the way they sort of lay upon each other like that. And what I also want to do is just make this point a little longer. So I'm going to grab that. I'm just going to... Uh, what's be the quickest way to do this? It's not actually straight, so I'm just going to first of all straighten it up, just bring it up a bit like that, and then just sort of drag it out and just eyeball that, something like that. And you have to do these ones as well. So these ones have to be the same, right? Because they've got to join with each other. So select that one. And that one, and that one, and that one, if I can get it from a distance. There we go. Let's just have a look from the side. And as long as we drag them together, I think it should be fine. Just bring them up. And like that. Just a bit taller. And let's update that now. This should make them look a bit better. There we go. Just a bit pointier. I think that looks nice. So what I want to do is I want to prepare this for unwrapping. And the best way to do that for me, because I'm going to use Ryzen UV, is to create seams here in Blender and then just shoot those across to Ryzen. So while this is still live, what I can do, just select this, uh, is set some seams. So I'm going to select my edges. And I'm just going to alt-click to select these inner loops. I'm going to work my way through this, making sure that I've only got the loops that I want. Grab this side as well. Imagine if I had to do every single scale. That would be madness, complete madness. Grab that. I think that's all for that one. And this one. Go around there. Obviously really important that you select the correct seams. Otherwise you've got to come back and redo things. And we just need to grab this one in here so with that selected I'm just gonna hit the spacebar and I'm gonna just choose mark seam it's there because I searched for it before and there's my seams so that's good so come over to the egg again I'm going to get rid of the subdivision surface. I don't want that on there until later after I've unwrapped it. And I'm going to refresh. Now when I hit tab, you can see there's all the seams. Imagine doing them one by one. That would be just a supreme waste of time. All right. Now we can't export this to Ryzen UV when the tissue uh, is still live. So what I'm going to do is just save this. And then I'm going to save as, and I'm just going to replace the one I 
before, untessellated, save as. Now to remove the tissue and apply it to the object, you just click on this cross. Okay, you'll get a little warning. I'm going to click OK because I've saved this. And I'm going to click. So that's fine. I'm going to now just clear up this document because I've also got this in the saved version. So get rid of all of this. And name this egg a dragon egg. whatever you want to call it. So that's ready to go across to Ryzen UV now. And I'm using the Ryzen UV bridge. Just bought that on Blender Market. It was about $8.50. Uh, I've got Use Seams selected. So I'll just do another quick save. And click Export. See down the bottom, it says Send to Ryzen UV. Ryzen opens up. And that's unwrapped. So it's recognized all of those seams and it's unwrapped the object. So if I go into island mode, you can, I can click on those individual islands. You can see they are unwrapped. So all of this stuff would be gold and these will be whatever, some sort of leathery, you know, eggy, sort of dragon eggy, grungy, texture. So what I'd have to do now is, obviously this is, you know, going to be impossible to texture. I really want to lay the objects on top of each other. So the way I would do that is just select one of them. And in topo copy, you know, I can, I can select like objects. You can see it's select all of, selected all of those. So they appear to be the same. And what I do is actually click on this guy here and that will stack them. Okay, so it stacks them all together and there they are there. So now just go through and keep doing that. Just checking what it's selecting. Gonna keep stacking them. Just, I'm just selecting the um, similar first just to see what it's selecting. It makes sense that it's doing one at the top and one at the bottom because this is a, um, a sphere and I presume that those uh, uh, shapes are exactly the same at the top and bottom because it's reflected. Well, it's symmetrical. So I'm just going to go through and keep stacking those. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I've stacked all those up and I've scaled them up. And I mean, it's not optimized, this map, but, um, you know, it's there's as big as I need them. I don't need to make them any bigger. I could spend a bit more time on that, but uh, it's not necessary. And um, it all looks, you know, it's all the same uh, texel density. So it's ready to go. Obviously, these areas around here aren't perfect because of the overlapping geometry. Um, there's a little bit of... Uh, if you have a look at this, if I just optimize that, you can see that that helps, definitely helps, but it uh, they lose their stacking. And it's the same with a lot of these. If I optimize them too much, they lose their stacking. So I'd probably have to just, you know, lay these out if I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any, um, any you know, weird stretching. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy with that wasn't really a Ryzen UV tutorial, but I just wanted to show you how you can bring your seams across by um, setting them in Blender first and uh, you know saving some time. And once I have that saved over in Ryzen, come back across to Blender and click on Import in the Ryzen UV bridge. Should be able to go across to my UV editing and there we go. So that's ready to send across to a substance painter. And I would definitely, as I always do, use the Zolotl Substance Live Link to do that. So I'm going to do that next.